hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel i uh, just wanted to say first a big sorry and to uh, all my viewers because the last few days i haven't been um, making or uploading any content to my channel because unfortunately you might be able to help hear by my voice i've actually been very very sick uh, i just had like a really bad um cold flu uh, that I got last week and I've been really really sick with it so uh, I'm really sorry um, I sounded really really bad the last few days and uh, there's just no way I could have talked on camera to you all so today I'm feeling a tiny bit better slowly starting to get better so I thought I'd come on and say hello with my gorgeous Lucy and here she is my big girl and today what I wanted to talk to you about was something that I've realized that I got recently that um, I'm really not used to getting because normally uh, I'm getting a new baby. I used to be getting a new baby quite regularly. But nowadays that I'm not getting um, new babies all the time, I realize that, um, that when you are getting expecting a new baby to your um, nursery that you get a certain high from that feeling and um, it's something that I was so used to getting regularly with um, with my getting my collection and buying my babies one after the other after the other with a few months in between for the last few years and now I've accrued such a um, such a big collection now that I just can't keep doing that I have to be uh, just happy with what I've got because it's just going to be too many and there's already too many so but I really um, noticed that I'm missing that high that you get for when you're reborn expecting so um, I thought I'd make this video today talking about that that high that you get that when you you know you find that baby through whatever, whether it's Facebook or whether it's eBay and you see those photos and your heart just melts and you fall in love and then you buy the doll and then you wait for it to come in the mail and you go out shopping for the baby and you buy some little things that you think would look cute on it and you just, you just like so excited for that new baby. And then the big day comes and they arrive and you open it up and you're half excited but you're half feeling sick because you're so worried that it's not going to be what you pictured or what the pictures are like or what you what you're hoping and dreaming of but then when you um the joy that when you do open up and you see the whole baby and you realize that yes this is the right decision and she is or he is exactly how you were thought and hoped and dreamed and and you just feel all those emotions, you know, all that love and all of that cuteness overload and you just love to dress them and pose them and stare at them and look at all the little de details and features. I just realise, you know, how much of a high you really get from all that stuff and, you know, when you don't, when you stop buying these dolls regularly, you really do miss those highs and you sort of, you sort of, you you think, well, how can I get something similar to that feeling without that whole process of buying dolls? Because you can't keep buying dolls. And so I have been thinking about that a lot lately and thinking about some things that I can do. And one thing that I've noticed that I can do is for myself because I have such a lot of babies and you know I don't see them every day because most of them are in the nursery and I do sort of rotate through them with with my affections with them but one thing I have noticed that does help me is when I'm on YouTube looking at other people's YouTube um, videos under my suggested videos sometimes my videos will come up as being suggested and some of them will be a baby that I haven't seen in a while and I'll see them in the I'll see the little video um picture and i'll go oh my god look how cute that baby is and then i'll go out into the nursery and i'll find them and i'll give them i'll bring them out for a few days and have some huddle cuddles and sort of things so for me um now because i can't keep buying them 
I'm finding that process um, is really it is is gives me that sort of rush of um, feel good emotions when I sort of like refall back in love with a baby and or another thing that I um, had have been noticing I've been doing is that if I see them in a video wearing a certain outfit that I think looks adorable but they've since changed them and I think they look better in the other outfit I'll go searching for that outfit and I'll change them back into that outfit and and because I know I really like them in that outfit and I'll watch them and I'll be like oh my god they're so cute again I have lots of cuddles and so um I wanted to ask all of my YouTube family and the Reborn community what you do to keep up, you know, all of the the feel-good emotions that, you know, that having a new baby brings. Like, they're my two strategies with um, finding on my videos some babies that I haven't had cuddles with for a while and falling back in love with them again or finding outfits that they used to be dressed in that I thought they looked really super adorable and and redressing them in those outfits that helps me to get those really good feel good um factors so I just wanted to put out there to see what everyone else does because we can't always be buying babies all the time um some people uh what they do is they'll sell their babies to buy new babies so they will constantly get that that feel but I'm unfortunately um unable to do that because once a baby enters into my house, a reborn baby, um, I really, I, I, to me, I feel like they're part of me and I feel that if I was to sell them, it would be a part of me and that's really hard for me and it's, just, it's frustrating. I wish I didn't feel that way, but that's the way I feel. So, yeah, anyway, um, hopefully I didn't sound too bad in this video and my voice isn't too annoying for you, but I sound a lot better today than I have been the last few days. So hope you enjoyed my video and uh, I am going to start this as a tag. So ha my tag will be how do you um, continue to get your reborn highs from, um, from reborn babies when you don't keep buying new babies. So... Let's see what your um how you feel about this topic. So I think it's something I've been thinking about a lot lately because of my not being able to buy babies. So um a lot of you may not be in the same position as me, so but if you are, I'd really like to know how you deal with this, uh with that sort of thing that's happening. But anyway, thanks for watching this video and until next time, hopefully I'll sound better next time. Um see you later.